We're trying to map the world's soil nematodes. These are tiny microscopic worms that exist in all of the world's soil. We're talking about soil nematodes here because they're incredibly important animals. Four-fifths of all animals on the planet are nematodes. And here in this study, we try to map them on a global scale. And we're generating this map so that we can understand soil fertility and carbon and nutrient cycling across the globe. Even though soil organisms are some of the most important components of our biosphere, governing carbon and nutrient cycling as well as the climate, we have almost no global quantitative models of any component of the living soil. Until now, soil ecologists have focused on microbial communities at the very small scale. And because of the heterogeneity of those communities, we can get lost in that complexity. There can be 10,000 nematodes in this gram of soil, and then 100,000 in the next. But when we take samples across large spatial scales, we begin to see patterns that tie it all together. Until now, the studies that have attempted to observe those patterns have focused on a few hundred samples that don't represent all of the world's ecosystems. So what we needed to do is get a representative sample number across the entire globe. We needed thousands and thousands of samples. So we created a network of 70 co-authors located all across the globe. And combining the data sets they have been collecting on their respective field sites, we collated a data set of over 7,000 data points. So using this network of soil ecologists across the globe, we create a data set covering all major ecotypes on the planet. Using machine learning approaches, we connect these locally observed data with global information of climate and soil characteristics. And then, ultimately, we can extrapolate these relationships to create a global map, the first of its kind. We were incredibly daunted by this prospect because the huge diversity and complexity of these ecosystems might obscure those global patterns. But with more and more and more data, our models get stronger and stronger, and our predictive capacity is increasing with every new sample. And this is revealing astonishing insights into a below-ground world that we had no understanding of before now. I'm so excited to see that these models actually work. And I can't believe that I'm one of the first people to know where most of the animals on our planet are living. And ultimately, these maps will allow us to identify regions on the planet which are vulnerable to climate change. Thank you.